Okay, today we're going to show you the very, very basic concept of putting a program in your MBOT, MCOR robot, and we're going to show you how to save it, and then we're going to show you how to restore it back to the original um, configuration. So, this is what we're talking about. This is the MCOR uh, MBOT, and I like to use the uh, USB cable. So you plug the USB cable into your computer and you plug the USB cable into the side of the MBOT where it says USB. And then you open up your MBOT, uh, your MBlock software, and your MBlock software opens and it looks like this. And the first thing I usually do is click on Add. And then I pick the thing that I want to program. In this case, it's the MBOT. And then I go ahead and I delete the uh, Kodi, which is the default. And then I click to Upload. And I click on Connect. And right now, it's not showing it because the MBOT's not turned on. So I'll turn the MBOT on. And Try again, connect, and now it's showing it, and so I can go ahead and connect. It says that it's connected, and the MBOT makes a little song. And we're going to click on events, and here's the when the MBOT starts up, and we're going to get the controls. We're going to put a little wait statement in here, and we're going to put uh, if then else statement, but that all has to be inside a forever loop, or otherwise it's only going to check it once. Okay, so the thing that we're um, waiting for is we're going to wait for someone to press the onboard button. Always a good idea to have that right in the beginning of your program so that if your robot's going to go someplace, it doesn't start going anyplace until you press the button. So it doesn't run off the table. Uh, then for this little simple exercise we're going to use a greater than statement and the thing we're sensing is the distance and if the distance is greater than let's say 15 we're going to light up an LED and we want it to be green in other words, nothing right up front. And then if the distance is not greater than 15, we want it to be red. Okay, there's your program. So we go over here to upload, not this upload, but this upload. And because we're connected, the code is getting sent over to the uh, chips inside the M core. Okay. So it's all done. Now we can go ahead and unplug this. And this should work. Although it's always a good idea when you've uploaded, turn it off, turn it back on again. Just for good idea. Now there's the onboard button. So nothing happens until the onboard button is pressed. And there's our green. And my hand is the object. Okay, so there's the there's the functionality. Okay, we're very happy with ourselves. Now we want to get back to all those wonderful programs that come from the factory. And so, uh, plug it back in with the USB. We reconnect with the USB. And then we click on um, hmm. Disconnect, I don't know the option. Well, underneath disconnect, there might be another option here. Yes, underneath disconnect, there's an option called settings. So we click on settings, update firmware. Uh, we want the factory firmware. So we click on update. This takes a few seconds. I'll probably uh, edit it out of the video. As soon as it gets to the end of the upload, you hear that familiar sound that tells you that everything's hunky dory with your MBOT and you're ready to go back to playing all those 
uh, functions that came with it when you first got it. Hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, look for me on my Facebook group. Thank you.